to um, part 6 um, I think part 6 yeah, of this tutorial um, about OpenGL ES in, uh, in Android yeah so actually if you have iOS device you could also have uh, yeah the same thing because what we are going to be doing now is not actually Android stuff but it's OpenGL ES stuff so now what we're going to do now is that we're going to create um, a folder or let me just say a directory or uh, uh, what in Android uh, I think we call it uh, get up. Uh, we call it uh, package or oh uh, yeah package so um, for the um, we'll, we'll call this package objects objects so whatever object you are defining that a triangle a car a shape any other shapes you just place them into that that kind of folder and it's kind of uh, make it very easy for us to um, have so click right click on the java you can use any other class you want to use um so any idea you are using uh, still quite the same thing so i'm using android studio i love android studio and uh, click on package um quite of quite uh um uh, uh, quite so let me see um no new oh you get it <laughs> click on this info android stuff here and click on package so we're going to name this package objects objects yeah so we have the package objects and um so we have a package called objects of Ob uh, package is just like a, a directory or a folder that contains our objects so we name them objects so now right click on this package here i'm going to new java class so we are, all these objects are going to be represented as a, a class so we're going to call this class because we are, we are defining a triangle shape. We are going to call this class triangle, 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 yeah, triangle, and click on OK to create the class. And then uh, we have a triangle class, an empty triangle class. So uh, we can modify the triangle class by um so now with the explanation in the last tutorials um if you are just jumping jumping through this tutorial you can make reference to the other my other tutorials by just going to my uh my channels on the, the video now you can see my channel then you click go into the playlist when you tap on playlist you see open jolly playlist so you can find the videos the previous videos of, of this series if i just joining uh, jumping into this because somehow we go into youtube and we just touch uh, upon gls tutorials and youtube give us maybe a single video of how we playlist and we just watch that and you can say oh this person is not giving any good details about that but actually the, there are more videos uh, previous videos there were and yeah and other videos also of the tutorial that you are not seeing so you need to go into the playlist and find them by yourself or yeah so no problem now we call so with the explanation of the last tutorial um last videos um is going to be the same thing i'm going to implement here and there's no difference between them so i'm gonna up there it's, there's no different from the what i explained but I'm going to still like re explain the ad by board. Let me start typing by saying um, private. Private. Uh, I'm going to explain that. I'm going to explain whatever I'm doing here. Floats. Um, sorry, I'm going to call that. Float. Float. Um, buffer. Yeah. Float buffer. Um, vertex. Vertex. Uh, buffer before actually um, this way uh, I was using a punjo let me just make some comments here you know what's comments 
actually uh, I was learning open gel and not open gel ES so I was um, developing graphics I learning open gel um, on PCs so um, I was using a low level programming language called C++ and it was my favorite language so in Java there is a quite um, in C++ sorry um, there is an easy way to um, tackle low level stuff like machine um, the hardware stuff you can manipulate the hardware using this low level but Java is a high level programming language so you need you can um, access you don't have that uh, access directly to the hardware so you still need um, low level languages or um, the system the Android system to be to be able to do your high level low level stuff okay so I've been using so I, I did not learn I didn't um, take a course on Java but because C++ and Java are having the same syntax just like similar syntax and other stuff I was able to adapt to Java and um, so when I wanted to start um, um, start st study start um, open OS on Android so I need to learn about Android stuff and um, also learn about Android uh, OpenGL yes, sorry because OpenGL yes, and OpenGL are very the same quite the same but because OpenGL yes, are developed for mobiles not for PC they are having a little bridge between themselves so I need to learn how can I implement OpenGL yes, in Android and uh, so that was just a little brief of my own so I okay so um so this is it i may be wondering um how did i come from an empty um object to just <laughs> a filled class so about uh, this code um it's just uh, actually the same code um just a little bit exact as the one in uh the Android um, developer website. So, um, like um, from this, <laughs> from from this constructor here, from the constructor down, it's actually the same copy code there because it's quite simple to understand. And so, so basically, what we are doing here is that uh, we created a class that will be representing this. Um, object and um, create a vectors before which is a float before and the number of coordinate bar vectors in this area so um, we are going to be explaining this um, note that the coordinates note that the coordinates of this shape are defined in a counterclockwise order uh, which is this counterclockwise order um, the drawing order in is important because it def it defines which side is in the front face of the shape which you typically want to have drawn and the back face which you can choose to not draw using the open gls call face feature for more information you can go into the android developers uh, website so defining uh, a triangle is just um, that way we can also define triangles or we can define them later on when we go more de in details in this tutorial after creating so um, this example gives you a pick of what it takes to create more complex shape with open GLES. in general you use collections of triangles to draw objects related the class this class we just explain a little bit about the class with that. Oh, and then, oh, I just I just made something wrong. Okay, correct. 
so now we created um, this class representing our triangle object and then so we talk about in the previous tutorials we talk about um, the values which is the x the y and the z so the z is always zero zero because we are creating a 2d two dimension flat on the screen so up 0 0.5 0 0.5 which is this is the top which is uh, the top here and just measure um we just use your pen and your paper and just kind of draw the uh, the draft which is the the cross line and just you know just interpolate between them to find a way just you know just something like this um so what that will give us sorry um control z actually what that will give us is that when we drag now oh this the bent yeah, bent line what's wrong with my mouse so if we drag now actually what what we want is that we want a a triangle like this going from here to this from here to that and from here oh so, and from here come on come on to that and from here to that so this is how our triangle will be represented uh, will be drawn on the screen so we say a value of 0 0.4 um, if you use with the explanation from the previous tutorial which you can find in my channels in my playlist in my open jelly playlist you can find them there and uh, yes so that's how our will be explained if you can understand you can comment and I can give you more explanation about that and also someone else can help you out also so after that after creating this in a counterclockwise order we set the color of the triangle we just uh, we say okay hey after, after we feed we'll feed the computer with this data we will also feed feed it with the color we want our triangle. so this is the red value um, a, a green value and a blue value and alpha value here so you can see them here accordingly so if you can put you can put any color you want to put any color you want to color your triangle and that is the constructor that will be called constructor that will be called oh, why is my why is my mouse acting wrongly oh come on oh damn it this class that have been called whenever we create an object of this triangle so basically simple by just creating a memory allocating a memory and then use the device hardware to order it natively and create a floating point before um, vectors vectors dot put triangle and uh, set the positions to position zero okay so, so draw shapes after you define shapes to be drawn with open gel you probably want to draw them drawing shapes with the open gel es 2.0 takes a bit more code than you might imagine because the api provides a great deal of control over the graphic rendering pipeline the, this lesson explains how to draw the shape you define in previous lessons using OpenGL ES 2.0 API. Um, before you do anything, any drawing, you must initialize and load the shape you plan to draw. Unless the structure, um, the original coordinates of your shapes, 
you use in your program change during the course of execution you should initialize them in the unshifers created method of your renderer for memory and processing efficiency okay so which means um whenever um our open gl surface is created for the first time whenever a user launched our application and the open gl is surface is created immediately is created we need to initialize objects so initializing them is that we are going to be creating memories um, temporary memories for for those objects and send the data of those objects into those memory for open gel to use immediately after the um, on she first created so go into our oh come on oh, my fucking mouse uh so go back to my open my open gel renderer and in this on she first um created we need to initialize the, after the clear color we need to initialize um the triangle body private private triangle so you see our triangle class is popping up yeah triangle triangle let's call it m triangle um triangle and uh, and a private oh there's an error here so private uh, what am I typing man private yeah there we go. so we only have triangle one stuff as our object here which is triangle modifiers private not allow here oh okay um oh sorry made a mistake cut uh, i like this and cut it cut it to the and so yeah sorry from here so this is where we need to declare this value and uh and the once first created as we explain it we need to initialize it by just doing so just like creating space of memory to send our our shape data in this case our triangle data so so open gel will get it easily and so triangle it's got to new so what this will do is like allocating a memory for the new triangle we are creating and then you no know, allocating a new memory and then feed that memory with the triangle data so that's how because when you go back to the triangle here we can see this is what the constructor is doing entirely so I see I mean initially using the vectors byte before for shape allocating allocating then setting the order of the allocation of the memory then just feeding the triangle chords which is the triangle information or data into the memory and um, setting the position yeah so that's how it does it and um pretty cool so drawing a a diff a defined shape using OpenGL ES 2.0 requires a significant amount of code because you must provide a lot of details to the graphic rendering pipeline especially you must define the two and the following uh, the following first the vector shader open is graphic codes uh, open is graphics code for rendering the vertices of the shape so um, actually we're talking about um, the joining of the vertices which we give the data we give um, the joining of the points which is the um what we call it the corners together maybe like we give three points in the in the paint here 
three points which is um the first one is uh, mm, I'm gonna choose the green the first one is this point over here this point big point dot here big dot here and the other one here and the other one here oh sorry that's so that's how so uh so those points there and uh so that is basically it so the vector shader is a code actually a code um open gel will use is a code that open gel will use to draw um to draw this lines and this blue line uh, between the green um corners here and we also have another code that we need to write which is the fragment shader open gel is use uh, use this code for rendering the face of a shape with the color with color or texture like um, when we're uh, in the triangle class we created a color which you see triangle color so open gel after we feed the data you cannot feed this color and tell open gel or oh, use it to color our triangle so so the fragment shader is based uh, is a shader where uh, open gel is use it to color our shape so like now the vector shader is to do this so the vector shader which would we say it's it's a it's an open gel is code that allows us to that help us to draw the the lines joining these corners together and the fragment shader is having the ability to fill to use the color we specified to fill to fill the triangle so um the fragment shader of the open gel es is having the ability to fill our um uh, our triangle shape with a color or using a texture so if we um specify a color of a, a red color and we send that to uh, the fragment shader that open gel yes we use it will open gel yes we now use that shader to be able to color your shape in this case it, the triangle so so basically that's how it does it and now we also have one um, one more shader called uh, program program shader an open uh, an open GLES object that contains the shaders you want to use for drawing one or more shapes so the program shader is basically the combination of the vectors um, of, of the vector shader and the fragment shader so it, uh, so the program shader is just the combination of those two or let me see the whole shaders you are going to be using so you need at least one vector shader to draw a shape and one fragment shader to color the shape these shaders must be compiled and then added to an open GLDS program which is then used to draw the shape here is an example of how to define basic shaders you can use to draw a shape in triangle class so uh, when I was um, developing open gel, open gel application on uh, pieces, um, that is quite easy for me to be able to f quite easy on this platform to create open gel as applications. And uh, but in uh, but in open gel, you need to adapt to Android stuff. You know. It's, and um, never mind so now we are going to be inside the triangle class we're going to be creating a shader that is a red a shader code 
that we are going to be using to draw the triangle and to render the, uh, and to color the triangle so simple let's get onto it so we are in the triangle class and um, so before any other thing before we start doing any other thing at the top here before any other thing that's what we're going to do first creating the shaders face so um we have our two shaders go we have this vertex vertex shader here um which is just um a program little program um and um, a fragment shader also fragment shader code here also uh, so let me just explain in one second uh, so vector shader code you can write this bunch of code now so we we need to send an attribute position which is the um, the data we are we have here we, we, we are going to be sending it to this guy and uh, this guy will be sending it into into the OpenGL actual OpenGL rendering stuff so in the fragment shader we are going to be sending this color which is this color triangle color into um, this color value here and the OpenGL will use it the color value now use the color value to color our triangle here so this what these two things are doing so um, these are a bunch of shaders that will help op open gel um, to be able to do our perfectly so shaders contains open gel shading language glsl code that must be compiled prior to using it in the open gel ES environment to compile this code create a unit utility method in your renderer class so this is a bunch of um, it's a language let me say language code that needs to be compiled before being used by OpenGL ES and um, okay so now let's add uh, so let's compile this so before we can compile let's create a, a simple function that will help us to compile this program and uh, so we have um, a basic function that will compile our shaders for us and um, so in order to draw your shape you must compile the shader code and add them to to an OpenGL layers program object and then link the program to this in your draw object construction so it is only done once and um, compiling OpenGL shaders and linking programs is expensive in terms of CPU cycles and processing time so you should avoid doing this more than once if you do not know the content of your shader at runner and at runtime you should build your code such that the only they only get created once and then cached for later use so now um, we let's join these two shaders into one program into one shader program okay um, in next oh sorry okay so that's what we're going to be doing now actually so let's start by typing this so just copy the code here same is that is that code yeah let's add another code for the program stuff and um, add it up here gonna add call we don't call this int 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 vertex vertex shader Vector shader is equal to my GL renderer 
um, da, da. oh <laughs> so there's also a stack here that we made a mistake so actually this code we wrote here is supposed to be in the renderer and not in the triangle of class so cut on uh, this go to my renderer and we're going to add it into my renderer here add that yeah. so that's how it looks like and now if we go to triangles now we go add it by doing into intro text text Shade let's call it with the shader is go to my GL render dot the texture and uh, so we have uh, we have the code to load our vector shader and a fragment shader so now let's create the program sh shader which is the combination of these two shaders okay so um actually there's quite an error here whereby um this code is supposed not to be here so let's cut them cut right click and click on cut which control x for the hotkey and it's supposed to be in um, the in the triangle constructor whenever the triangle is created and now we are seeing a M program as cannot resolve uh, let's fix that by declaring it at the top so let's declare, declare it private private um final int mm, int oh yeah so int program yeah so now we're good to go and now what we basically do is that we load that and compile the two shaders now we are creating a program sh shader that is basically the combination of those two um, shaders so after that we're gonna add um, the vertex the vertex sh shader to program to do to write the program using GLVS to and you dot deal at mm, I think attach here attach shader and uh, um the program then uh track the shader so we got we can duplicate this code here when are duplicating it but Actually, it's not right to be copying code because it's not right. And this should be fragment shader, fragment shader, fragment shader. And uh, basically, what we are doing is that we are create, we are adding the frag, the vector shader, and the fragment shader into the program shader so the two are combined in that place so let's link create open Java. so glvs dot g i think link i think link program here yeah. link program and program link the program so 
um, let's let me add uh, a comment so yeah very much that and now at this point you are ready to add the actual call that draw your shape drawing shapes with OpenGL requires that you specify several parameters to tell the rendering pipeline what you want to draw and how to draw it since drawing options can vary by shapes it's a good idea to have your shape classes contains their own drawing logic so let's create a draw method for drawing the shape this code sets the position and color value to the shapes vertex shader and fragment shader and then execute the drawing function okay actually let's organize this code a little bit a little bit more so let's make this from here down here where the program shaders stop finish so control x to cut uh, let's put it right after the data after the coordinate data and other stuff like that uh -huh. yeah pretty much good so we have a good way of saying um the datas here into memory and then vector shader stuff here so that's good now for us to be able to draw now we're going to create a draw function um, so we are going to be creating a draw method in our triangle class here so after, um, but not in the constructor but it's a method so we're going to create it create a method called draw now so actually um, I'm going to I'm going to just draw it and then explain it um, after drawing it after um, writing the method. Um, let's solve this position handle. There's no declaration for this, I think. Um, no declaration, that is the error you're having. Okay, we're gonna declare that. So um, we got our draw method our draw function here um, add program to open gel environment get the handle to the triangle vertices um, enable the handle to the to the triangle vertices get handle to the fragment and shade that color member set the color draw triangle and disable vertex array so once you have all this code in place drawing the objects just require a call to draw method from within your renderer on frame on draw frame so let's call the triangle and our render in the sorry in the on draw frame we can call uh, sorry we can call M triangle dot draw when you run the application now let's run the application and see what it we have so by calling um by calling triangle dot draw which is the um draw method we set here it will draw um, triangle so if we click on run run the program if you run it now it's it will run as a red triangle so so okay so now you can see in my Android device we have our our OpenGL application running so the title was my open GLES application the background was a um, a, a clear pink color um, which is a light pink color 
and um, so we have our red triangle sitting our red beautiful triangle sitting um, in the middle of our screen here so but actually there's one thing that you may be seeing here which is um, this um, this kind of icon is having a square uh, here this icon here that, that is moving around here this icon is not part of the tutorial it's just my video in uh, my screen screen recording um so uh, let me see button here so but whatever you are seeing here is what you're supposed to be focusing on so we are having a rectangle and in the explanation we we said the triangle will appear like this which is so this place is top this place is the bottom right and this place is the bottom left so there are three values here which is one vertex um one vertex and one vertex here also to form in it um so the shader the uh, the vector shader and the fragment shader are working perfectly so we we made our first graphic um uh, application in OpenGL as Android and from here on you can create whatever you want to create so now don't forget to subscribe like and share